Well, tonight is night three of our series of haunted stories here at News 2. Yep, we are taking a look at one of the most historic buildings in the low country and even the state. News 2's Raymond Owens takes a look at the old Exchange and Provost Dungeon. The old Exchange and Provost Dungeon is one of the most historic buildings in South Carolina. Some consider it haunting. We are standing on the east elevation of the old Exchange and Provost Dungeon, a building that is 240 years old this year. Tony Yeomans is the director of the building. On his first week of working here in 2004, he says he encountered something out of the ordinary. It was around 6.30 Saturday morning. He was alone, the first person inside for the day. Uh, I enter the building and it is buttoned up tight. We've got every type of security measure to protect this structure from everything. And uh, uh, as I disable them entering the building, I'm walking across the beautiful Great Hall upstairs where the Constitution was ratified, President George Washington was entertained, and I hear boot steps behind me. He heard 11 distinct steps before turning around to see who was there. But there was nothing. I don't believe in ghosts, but I could not explain those boot steps. And they were very hard, very pronounced on the uh, heart pine floors upstairs. And it, it, I'll be honest, it spooked me just a little bit. There was also the morning an employee was the first to arrive and she heard a piano playing. We do have a piano in the chapter room of the local DAR chapter. And again, this building is buttoned up very tightly. And so to hear a piano playing kind of unnerved her. And as she walked and started disabling the security measures getting into it, it stops just before the door opens to reveal nothing in this wonderful room that's on the south side of the building. That piano is playing or the boots are, are walking across the hardwood floor. We know that it's, it's probably one of our famous uh, Revolutionary War martyrs, Colonel Isaac Hain. Hain was captured by the British and charged as a traitor to the crown. His punishment? Death. He was held in the exchange building in the room now called the Isaac Hain Room. Uh, he is led from this building in August uh, in a circuitous route and approximately near where the Francis Marion Hotel is located today. Uh, he is placed upon a horse cart, a noose around his neck. The cart is moved and he swings by the neck until dead. And so we're pretty sure that Isaac visits us occasionally. As you enter the dungeon below, there is an eerie feel. The dungeon held everyone from Revolutionary War fighters to your average thieves and murderers. In this dungeon, I had my very first very violent ghost encounter. Bulldog Tours ghost tour guide Lindsay Beard was in the dungeon for her first tour. She began exploring around the dungeon by herself as another guide led the tour just ahead of her. That's when she felt something. I thought I had run into a Lolaine, um a sign or something, something that was strung up, because I felt something hit my throat. Uh, started trying to get it off, it was kind of constrictive, but the longer I tried to get it off, the tighter it became. So I'm thinking either somebody's playing a really bad joke on me, or I really did get tangled up in a sign that I didn't see. The group had since moved on into the dungeon, their backs were to me, and I had wandered into the middle of the, the dungeon, the bigger section trying still to get whatever was on my throat off. And that was when I could only describe it as hands squeezing my throat. And as I was flailing my arms around, swirling around trying to get whoever was on me off, I realized I was by myself in this section of the dungeon. Fortunately, a security guard walked in and saw her, grabbed her, and helped get her out of the dungeon. Tour guide finishes up his tour. He comes out and sits down next to me and I'm telling him the story. And uh, he said, well, buck up, kiddo. You've got your own tour in 20 minutes. So that was my first encounter with the dungeon. Stories of what happened make for an interesting tour. It is still history, but it is definitely a different side of the history that we're used to hearing. And so uh, to this day, when I'm alone in the building, those steps haunt me. I'm Raymond Owens, News 2.
That was pretty scary. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with it. Yeah. The old exchange building has quite a history. South Carolina ratified the U.S. Constitution and became the eighth state of the Union in that building. I wonder if some folks at home have some strange experiences yeah. while visiting some of those haunts. Then in 1791, President George Washington visited Charleston and was in that building for five days during the trip. To see all of the Lowcountry proud stories and also to vote for Charleston in the Sci-Fi Network's Ghost Hunters Contest, just log on to CountOn2.com and click on Lowcountry Proud in the News tab.